Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I've got kind of an old school style video where I'm just sitting in front of the Mac and uh, this one is kind of an interesting video. I actually have a pretty big problem with my 2021 16 inch MacBook Pro. I'm not gonna edit this video too much. I'm just gonna go right into it. Basically the issue is Touch ID will not work while the laptop is charging. Um, and I am using the MagSafe adapter that came with the computer. It does not work in a different outlet with the extension cable that Apple sells. It also does not work and that one's three pronged and the third prong is grounded. So that is not the issue. Now there are other people online stating they have the exact same issue ranging back as far as January, 2021, I found on the internet. This is not just the new MacBook Pros. This is started with the original M1 Max. So maybe the MacBook Air and those MacBook Pros. If you're having this issue, drop a comment down below. Uh, there's very few threads online about this issue but other people are definitely having it and no one has an answer. I started a support thread with Apple, so we'll see what they say. Uh, so far their help has been, they've tried, but <laughs> this is such a specific issue. Uh, their generic support team probably is not gonna be able to help. The only thing that comes to mind is that this is some sort of electrical current issue where uh, when the power is flowing into the device, it's somehow escaping and you know messing with Touch ID because as soon as I unplug the MagSafe connector, Touch ID is perfect. Uh, I've never had this issue on any other MacBook. And for those of you that watched my other video about which one I was gonna get, I did end up getting the maxed out 16 inch version. So if you're having this issue, I don't know if it has anything to do with the internals, uh, probably not, but this is the 16 inch. If it's happening, it's probably happening with the 14 inch as well. Now just to quickly go over troubleshooting, um, what I've done so far, uh, I've obviously restarted the Mac. This has been happening for a month since I've had the, the computer, maybe two months. I forget when I got this, but anyways, yeah, it's been happening for a while. And, um, so restarting doesn't help. Uh, safe mode does not help adding a different user account as an admin. And it does not help. It, it runs into the same issue. Uh, removing the fingerprints and re-adding them does not help. Pretty much everything that's been suggested uh, does not work. And I do believe at this point, I kind of think it's, it's a hardware issue. Uh, which sucks because there's going to be a lot of these recalled. So what I did is I started a support case with Apple. So at least it's documented. So if this is comes out of the warranty period or whatever, I can say, Hey, look, I told you guys about this way before, uh, and it's still an issue. And you know, if they need to issue me a new, new MacBook pro, uh, that's fine. And I know it's kind of a first world problem to have to unplug your computer to, you know, use the fingerprint sensor. Oh, God forbid, but it is really annoying when you think about how many websites and programs use touch ID to authenticate and to keep unplugging and replugging gets old pretty quick. Um, I didn't think it would be that big of a deal, but it is. So apparently also this has been happening since Mac OS 11. And since we're on 12 now, obviously it hasn't been resolved. Not sure if it's a software thing, but I'm kind of just making this video to put something out there because no one else has any and every other touch ID video on YouTube right now about this is very generic and it's like you know your fingers dirty or you know re-enter your fingerprints or something stupid like that like this is not the issue that's happening here uh, this is something at a hardware level on these new macbooks so anyways i'm gonna stop rambling because i don't have anything else to say but hopefully if you're having this issue as well you know you're not alone and hopefully apple will address this soon and let us know at least you know if it's hardware or software if they're going to fix it because i've hit a dead end which is pretty rare for me i usually will research something until i find an answer and for this there is nothing hopefully this video will find someone that needs it let's start a discussion down below and see if we can fix this ourselves but i don't have high hopes <laughs> I think it's something something deeper. But anyways, that's all I got. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.